Okay, let's move ahead with the step two. So step two is to step two set up the initial simplex tableau initial simplex tableau so you see in the initial simplex tableau what what we do we have to we have to develop the in the in the tableau what we do initial simplex tableau we take all the constraints and first we take the objective function first we take the objective function and let me make the tableau for you first or here you see Okay, let's start making the initial simplex tableau. This is the format of the tableau. And uh, in the beginning, what we write, we write the all the variables we have in the objective function. All the variables we have in the objective function. So what was the all the variables we had in the objective function? These are the variables we had. And you see, we also wrote this one while making it 0s1 and 0s2. So we will be taking this one. We will be taking this 0s1, 0s2. You see, I am about to tell you how. Just to, just to recall. Let's recall, we have both right now. Okay. So, in the initial simplest tableau, what we do, we have to develop the tableau in this first variable we had x1, second variable we had x2, third variable we had s1, fourth variable we had S2. Okay. So these are the variables we had. Now let's talk about the coefficient, what coefficients we have. So we have three the coefficient over here, five is the coefficient of x2, five is the coefficient of x2, s1 is a coefficient has zero, and s2 is also zero over here. You see. Now, we also talk about here the C, that is C. Coefficient of basis over here. And the basis, we will be talking about in a while. So, we are done up till here. We are, what we have done, I am just concluding it to make you understand. We have made a format of a tableau. In the format, what you have to do, you have to begin with the objective function. Objective function is 3x1 
plus 5x2 plus 0s1 plus 0s2. It is, it is in the, this is the objective function with the select variables. So what we do, we just have to take the variables names x1, x2, s1, s2 with the coefficients we had, 3, 5, 0, 0, 3, 5, 0, 0. Okay. What's next? Okay. Next is what we do. We also need to write the constraints as well. The first constraint we had is 2x1 plus 3x2 plus s1 plus 0s2. So we'll be writing over here to you. We will be taking the coefficients only. You will be taking the coefficients only. So you see all of the coefficients will be here. So we just have taken all the variables over here, x1, x2, x, s1, s2. So all the coefficients will be coming here. First, we have taken the coefficients of objective function. Now we are taking the coefficients of the constraints. First is the two, second is three, second is three, third is one, we don't add anything, it means it is 1 and it is 0. Second constraint you see, what does it have? It has first coefficient is 1, we will take the 1, second is 2, second is 2, third is 0, third is 0, fourth is 1, 1. So we are done with the coefficients. All we are done with them. Now, the basis form, the basis form is S1 and S2. S1 and S2. It is the, it is the, uh, it is the basic, it is the basic, it will, it is giving us the basic solution. Okay, so the basic solution in that we have its coefficient s1, we already know 0, 0. So this is the basic function we made with the objective you see, 0, 0. Okay, we did not write 8 and 5 over here, you see, in the, uh, in the constraints. So 8 would be coming here. So it can be recognized with the variable b. You don't write, but I write it just to make myself remember. So eight and five. Okay, these are the equal to, after equal to, we have eight. That is the right hand side of the first constraint. That is the, you may also write right hand side. Right hand side. Instead of b, you can write right hand side. Both are correct. Okay, so you may write right hand side. So at the right hand side, we have the 8 and 5. Okay. So we are in the making of the initial simplex tableau. So now we also write the Z, ZJ. How do we get the ZJ? We have to solve the matrix over here, you see 0 into 2 plus 0 into 1 0 into 2 plus 0 into 1 let me solve for you 0 into 2 plus 0 into 1 what would it be? 0 plus 0 it will be 0 Okay, so zero will be here. In the second, we, we have to do the same. Zero into three, zero into three, plus zero into two, plus zero into two. What it be? Zero plus zero equals to zero. It will be here. Same will will be will be doing for the for the ZJ. What we will be doing, we'll be multiplying the zero with one plus 
zero is zero. What it, what would it be? Zero into one zero plus zero into zero zero to be zero. In the last, you see zero into zero plus zero into one plus zero into one zero plus zero equals to zero. So you see, we have got zero 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 zero. Now we are we are almost done. Just the last thing is. The last thing we have is C J minus C J. So it is it is C J basically C J minus C J. Okay. So you see C J is three minus C J zero. So it is three. Likewise. Cj is five and Cj is zero, so five minus zero is five. Zero minus zero zero. Zero minus zero zero. Yes, we have to multiply zero with the eight plus five into zero. Likewise, over here we did. So we. Missed out. Zero into eight plus zero into five. Okay, like like we did in here, here, here. So zero into eight plus zero into five. So zero into eight is zero. Plus zero into five is zero. So total is zero. So zero would be here. Okay. So you see, this is called the net evaluation row. It's called net evaluation. Net evaluation arrow. So basically, what is happening over here is this is the net evaluation row, and this has to be this has to be less than and equals to zero. If it is less than equals to zero, it means we have found the optimum solution in which we know the value of x1 and x2 and the z. So over here you see z is zero. The value of z is zero. Okay, the value of z is zero, and the s1 is eight, s2 is five. X one is zero. X two is zero. Okay, but in this net evaluation row, you see, it is telling us that this is not the optimum solution. So we have to, we have to make it optimum through multiple steps we already discussed, and achieve this this one. So every time we develop a tableau, we need to see. What is the value of the net evaluation row? If every element of net evaluation row is less than and equals to zero, you have found the optimum solution. So over here you see zero is less than or equals to zero. It is fulfilling the condition. This is also fulfilling the condition, but this and this is not fulfilling the condition. Let's move ahead. So now the next step is the step three is let's move toward the step three. Step three is step three is identify. Entering, entering, and and leaving variable, leaving variable. 
So this is what we have to do, we have to identify the entering and the leaving variable. So how do we get the entering or the leaving variable? So what we had in our last discussion was that we found the net evaluation row and what we got, we did not get any optimum solution. So we found these values. So what we have to do, we have to go and find the pivot column and pivot row. Pivot column and pivot row. So what is the pivot column? Pivot column is the one you see in the net evaluation. In the net evaluation, we see in the net evaluation row that the most largest element, the most largest element we have to find and that is 5. 5 is the largest element over here you see. So this, this column has to be selected. This column has to be selected. Okay. We have selected X2. So X2 is the x2 is the 